Hey, good evening everyone and welcome back to uh, my YouTube channel. So if you just want to see how I update these things, uh, I'm just going to show to you here so you can see how I update it. And, uh, and this is the Dividend Tracker. Uh, this is a great uh, program. I really like this program a lot. The only thing I wish it was free. So this way uh, you more people can use it. And um, but it's not free. You gotta subscribe. But for the for, for the free version, it get what it needs. So I'm just updating some of the uh, uh, holding I have. So now I'm going to all YLD. All I do is all I, all you do is first create a portfolio, add a portfolio, create it. I call my fire portfolio. After that, you just go in here and update. Uh, just add. You can just click on add holding if you don't have it. But if not, then you could click on this action here. And it will come out here. This is all YLD. And make sure you select the US. If you select the US, you will good, be good. So I'm going to update 6. And my average is 1746. So you you have to manually, unfortunately, you have to manually add these things. You know, because they don't know what your portfolio is. Uh, to be fair, they don't. They only know what they know. So, uh, so CLM. And... Uh, just kind of give you an update of what's going on and then so you can pull the information my average here is 8.29 and the more you buy it I keep buying low average you know reduction of the price uh, cost average down so as a result this thing keep coming down I mean it's not a lot it's just a little bit at a time because I only buy one share at a time but I did add QQY and I did add Jep Y into it I bought 31 today to today um, my biggest holding it's going to be clipped right here, and I just increase. Uh, well, it's my second biggest hold, I'm sorry. Uh, so I, I got up to 850 now, share, and the price I managed to reduce the price to 1812. Uh huh. So with all these guys here, it will, it will show me a good holding uh, percentage here. All right, let's just look at the payout calendar now. All right, let's see. Um, this is not the exact amount because I have more, but you can only add like 10. So I'm only adding the top holding that I have. No, they're not even the top holding, just holding of interest. Like these holding, I'm probably, I'm going to, I'm probably continue to grow. In other words, I'm going to get like a thousand share in clip, a thousand share in QQY, a thousand share in Jep Y, and maybe, you know, a couple hundred share in, uh, in OARK and then, Okay, CLM maybe you know get about you know a couple hundred shares also in this thing. Uh, all YLD, QILD, I definitely will grow this. I actually I'm one of the very few people who actually like all YLD, XYLD. I, nobody else like it. I like it. Um, it's just I, I'm late to the game, so I'm just I'm just buying it now, and so but I'm starting out, so I'm building from ground up. Um, XYLD is is one of my uh, favorite. I actually own XYLD at one point. I'm trying to find on my computer here. So I only have one share at the moment, but it's 39 XYLD. Oh, XYLD. Uh, here you go. And, and this one is 3982. Oh, number of share, that's, that's number of share, one, 3982. Okay. And the next thing, eventually, what I'm going to end up buying is I'm going to end up buying SPYI. Also, you know, these are like essentially my my uh, bread and butter uh, funds. You know, um, I'm debating about that. You know, I'm debating about buying SPY I and Chep I and stuff like that. Um, it's just they're expensive. They're like fifty dollars, and anything you don't see, you see here. I don't have anything that's over fifty dollars. You know, I try not to, but I do own stocks that's fifty dollars. So it's not. So to me, I think fifty dollars where I draw the line. Like anything over sixty, I will. I will not buy it. I will not do it. But anything over seventy, <laughs> yeah, I just make fun of it. All right. But thirty-eight dollars and uh, you know from you know from five all the way to thirty dollars is my range. And so I'm probably going to grow these guys. So here's the part I like about it. Let's go look at the calendar. And this is why I do it, the things I do. All right, this is October. Um, so as you can see, 
Jeff, Jeff P and QQY paid the first week. <laughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Um, they paid the first week, and then after that, uh, Tessie is going to pay the second week with OLK uh, right here, somewhere around this frame. And then on the last week, you got Clip, QYLD, RYLD, XYLD, and then CLM all pay in it. So you can see how diversified I am for this week here. Now, normally, Tesla will pay the second week, or Yield Max will be the second week, will be this week here. But in October, it's just different. So let's look at November real quick, just kind of idea. Um, nope, they haven't really mapped out everything yet. Oh, in this case, uh, Tesla is the third week, and um, but they all split up among themselves. So CLM clip, you know, depending on the depending on how much I get for for Tesla uh, dividends because the X date is coming here, they're gonna announce here um, soon. So this this price gonna change, and everything else gonna you know as as I keep continuing to build this thing, it's gonna. It's gonna keep growing. Eventually, I'm gonna get a thousand dollar in clip. So that's, uh, you know, between Tesla, if Tesla can give me two thousand dollar and Clip can give me a thousand dollar, I'm gonna get three thousand dollars of dividend. So uh, that's November, December. December is having map out yet. Just too far out, I guess. Uh, but October, here's all the map. So I like this because, um, you know, essentially, I'm gonna get paid by Jeff. Chep Y, QQY, and then, believe it or not, there's a third fund that's coming. So there's another fund that's coming in there also. That's, I'm very interested in that too. Um, I forgot what they track, what, what index it tracks. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, I think this is, this is a very healthy setup. And uh, I gotta continue to grow. Uh, wow, just for that share, I'm gonna get $27, that's crazy. Um, and thirty-four dollar. Wow, the interest rate is so high. You know, it's, it's getting so high. These guys here are kind of low, but they're just they're just out there uh, to help me out. Just they're my satellite. These are my satellite funds. But my core is QQY, uh, Jump Y, Tesla, Clip. So far, those are my core. And OARK is even though it should be a core, but they're my satellite. They 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 are just you know I want to get two or three. The third one that I'll probably end up getting is when one of the Tesla, one of the Yale Max stock, I don't care which one it is, that dropped to thirteen dollars, that's the one I'm getting. I, the days of me buying any more Yale Max at fourteen dollar higher is over. I, I I refuse to buy any Yale Max at fourteen dollars and higher. I'm only going to buy them at thirteen dollars in it because the his, history have shown and and all I have to do is just be patient and I will get thirteen dollars. That's it's just. That's just the reality of things, all right? And um, when rec share come out, oh my God, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rec share in here too. So this is a great time, exciting time. Um, I'm gonna get roughly you know two thousand dollars a month, but like I said, it's all depending on Tesla dividends payout. If it paid more than eight three cents, this number jump, this whole sheet here literally jumped to three thousand dollar. If clip pay is normal ninety cents, that's its average. And if Tesla pay its old average, which is 83 cents, clip old average 90 cents, clip Tesla old average 83 cents, plus QQY and Jeppy paying an average of 95 cents um, between both of them, you know, or something like that. I mean, this number literally will jump. It will just jump because I have to share and it will jump to $3,000. Um, so I'm excited about it. Uh, I just update my, my dashboard. And uh, this, is, this is not my entire portfolio. I actually have more, but this is the only number of shares that I add. Um, I'm not really sure to do with CLM yet. I'm just gonna keep playing with it, keep buying it, and um, until, because they pay pretty good dividends uh, in terms of percentage-wise. I guess I, I keep doing until the right offering. Once I sell it in my right offering, I'm probably not gonna buy it back. I don't know, I don't know whatever the price is. Depend on the price. I, my average right now is roughly like uh, 829. If I keep buying, I only buy one share at a time. I only have nine shares, so that means I bought like nine days. But uh, hey, uh, Phillips, how's it going? And uh, so that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna give you, I just give you a quick rundown on dividend tracker. All right. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please come hang out in our Discord. 
ask questions, and that's all we're doing. We're going after high yield dividends. If you if you one of those guys who want to get rich, making money, collecting dividends, then come hang out with us. Our Discord is growing tremendously. I'm constantly cleaning house in order in order to in order to make a, a better home. You got to keep cleaning the house and constantly clean the house. And um, and so you know that's that's just the way it is. That's how you manage a Discord. That's how you manage uh, a community. And uh, I've been doing that for a while now with video games and stuff like that. And it, it works. You always have to keep cleaning, keep organizing, keep focusing. You got to keep everybody focused on one single thing. That is make money and get rich through dividends. Okay, with that, peace out. Take care, everyone.